Breaking news. Nako po, madaming iiyak dito. Pangulong Bongbong Marcos, viral matapos maisiwalat ang kanyang totoong motibo sa ating bansa. Paano ba naman kasi, mga kababayan, isiniwalat lang naman mismo ni PBBM ang kanyang formal na pakikipagsanib pwersa sa isang malaki, powerful at mayaman na bansa. At eto pa mga kababayan, dahil hindi lang sila kilala dito sa Asia, kundi sa buong daigdig bilang isang makapangyarihang estado. Sa tagal-tagal ng panahon, si BBBM lang palang inaantay para maisakatuparan ang mga bagay-bagay na ito. Eto talaga ang hindi kayang gawin ng iba. Tanging si PBBM lamang ang ibang level mag-isip mga kababayan. Paano na lang kaya kung hindi si PBBM ang naging pangulo ng Pilipinas? Kaya naman mga kababayan, wag na natin itong patagalin pa. Samahan niyo ako at sabay-sabay nating alamin ang pinakamainit na balita sa araw na ito. Just in, sinaksihan nila Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. at Singaporean President Tarman Shan Mugarat Nam kahapon ang palitan ng dalawang memorandum ng pagkakaunawaan ng naglalayong protektahan ang mga manggagawang pangkalusugan ng Pilipino at ang kapaligiran. Iniharap sa dalawang pinuno ang Memorandum of Understanding on the Recruitment of Filipino Health Workers to Singapore at ang Memorandum of Understanding for Collaboration on Carbon Credits under Article 6 of the Paris Agreement. Sa ilalim ng Memorandum of Understanding on the Recruitment of Health Care Workers, isusulong ng dalawang pamahalaan ang magkaparehong proteksyon ng mga manggagawa sa pangangalagang pangkalusugan sa pamamagitan ng pagsunod sa patas, etik at napapanatiling mga kasanayan sa pangangalap sa pagtatrabaho ng mga manggagawa sa pangangalagang pangkalusugan na nakaangkla sa mga batas at regulasyon ng dalawang bansa. Sa kasalukuyan, mayroong 250,000 overseas Filipino workers sa Singapore. Bilang karagdagan sa Memorandum of Understanding sa Recruitment of Filipino Health Workers sa Singapore, sinabi ni Pangulong Marcos na ang isa pang Memorandum of Understanding sa Health Corporation ang pinag-uusapan ng mga health ministries ng dalawang bansa. Iniharap din ng dalawang leader ang Memorandum of Understanding on Collaboration on Carbon Credits under Article 6 of the Paris Agreement. Sa nagawang press conference ng dalawang pangulo, Ipinangako nila sa isa't isa na panatilihin at itaguyod ang kapakyapaan, siguridad at katatagan ng rehiyon habang binabanggit nila ang kahalagahan ng South China Sea sa parehong bansa. Bilang kapwa founding member states of Association of South Asian Nations na pag-usapan at ibinahagi ng Pilipinas at Singapore ang kanilang mga alalahanin sa pag-unlad sa Myanmar na nagpapatas ng pangangailangang magkaroon ng mapayapang solusyon sa domestic crisis gaya ng itinalaga sa ilalim ng ASEAN Five Points Consensus. Pinasalamatan din ni Pangulong Marcos si Pangulong Tarman at ang kanyang asawa na si Ginang Jane Itoge Shan Mugarat Nam sa paglalaan ng oras upang bisitahin ang Pilipinas. Ang Pilipinas at Singapore ay nagtatag ng diplomatikong relasyon noong May 16, 1969. Noong Mayo, si Pangulong Marcos naman ay lumahok sa IISS Shangri-La Dialogue at dumalo sa Milken Institute Asia Summit noong September 13-17, 2023. Gumawa rin siya ng state visit sa Singapore noong September 6 to 7, 2022. Nung nakaraang taon, ang kabuuang kalakalan ng bansa sa Singapore ay nasa 10.62 billion US dollar na may 3.53 billion US dollar sa pag-export at 7.09 billion US dollar naman sa pag-import. Sa parehong taon, nirarangko ang Singapore bilang ikap walong pinakamalaking kasosyo at kalakalan ng bansa. habang ika-anim naman sa export market at ikapito sa import supplier. Noong 2023, ang mga inaprobahang pamumuhunan mula sa bansang Singapore ay umabot sa 674.4 million US dollar. It is uh, my distinct honor and pleasure to thank to once again thank His Excellency President Tarman Shanmu Garata, Head of State of the Republic of Singapore. for accepting my invitation to visit the Philippines. In this regard, I am pleased to inform all of you uh, the results of our successful meeting with uh, the president that we just had in our bilateral meeting. We had very open, frank, and wide-ranging, and I, I think uh, it's safe to say that we literally went beyond 
uh, the agenda that was laid out before us and covered so many subjects and I think had we had we not been uh, signaled by our protocol officers, we could have gone on for a very long time. Uh, but that is uh, indicative of the productive of the state of Philippine-Singapore bilateral cooperation. The state visit was undertaken at the most opportune time, as this year marks the 55th anniversary of our country's diplomatic relations and comes upon the heels of several high-level visits. Which, in which both sides have undertaken the year stated, this, the, the, since the year has begun. Our bilateral relations have come a long way and have undergone immense transformation since they were established over five decades ago. Our meeting today was an opportunity to reaffirm and review our bonds of friendship and see how we can build upon them further. The ties that bind us go beyond geography and are based on our strong people-to-people -people connection. This has given rise to the strong multifaceted relationship which we enjoy today. As we have discussed before, Singapore continues to be an essential trade and investment partner of the Philippines, with Singapore businesses venturing into a wide se sector of industries in the Philippines, ranging from the hospital industry to the renewable energy sector. In this spirit, we have just witnessed the exchange of the Memoranda of Understandings of, for Collaboration on Carbon Credits under Article 6 of the Paris Agreement between the Department of Environment and Natural Resources of the Philippines and the Ministry of Trade and Industry of the Republic of Singapore. Hopefully, with this memorandum, we will be able to incentivize both industries and individuals to actively work to reduce their carbon footprint while allowing the government to mobilize financial resources to boost fiscal space. We also witnessed today the exchange of, memorandum of, of the Memorandum of Understanding on the recruitment of Filipino healthcare workers. Our ministries have worked hard on this MOU in order to ensure that a balance is achieved between the needs of the healthcare sector of both countries as well as the need for personal development and growth of our healthcare workers. Through this MOU, we express our confidence in Singapore's legal and judicial system, which will ensure that the rights, welfare, and well-being of our Kababayan OFWs will be protected as they pursue their careers in Singapore. In addition to the MOU stated above, another MOU on health cooperation is presently being negotiated by our health ministries so that when the contracts of our OFWs are nearing completion, they will be able to reintegrate into the Philippine economy with ease. There will also be the planned signing of MOUs by Philippine local government units and their Singapore private sector partners, a collaboration of Philippine national government agency and the Singaporean private sector and the business-to-business -business agreement. Aside from bilateral issues, we also discussed regional issues of mutual interest. As geographical neighbors in Southeast Asia, the South China Sea, West Philippine Sea holds great importance to both our countries. So we look forward to the opportunity to reaffirm our commitment to maintain and to promote peace, security, and stability in the region, as well as our strong support for the peaceful resolution of any such disputes. Furthermore, as fellow founding member states of ASEAN, the Philippines and Singapore have discussed share and shared our concerns on developments in Myanmar, which had undoubtedly affected both Singaporeans and Filipinos alike. We have continued to speak on this in all the ASEAN fora, and, uh, that the, and we have all come to the consensus that a peaceful solution, as prescribed under ASEAN's five-point consensus, is more urgent now than ever before. To, uh, this end, I thank President Tharman and his wife, Mrs. Jane Itobi, to, for taking the time to come to the Philippines and to wish and wish to express my heartfelt appreciation for this meaningful and timely visit. Thank you very much. We reaffirm the warm and long-standing relationship between Singapore and the Philippines. It's a relationship that brings mutual benefits. We are natural partners. We're natural partners, and what we're doing together brings benefit for both of us, for today as well as for tomorrow.